I'm going to show you how to inject by starting with the glabellar region. As you can see, the correct position is to be sitting at about a 35 to 45 degree angle. It's important to remember to have a piece of gauze in one hand and the needle in the injecting hand and to protect the patient's eye with your non-dominant hand as you inject. So I'll just begin injecting as so. I've already drawn up my Botox. When you're injecting procerus, it's a good idea to pinch the muscle and to inject slowly. Starting with the corrugator, again protecting the eye with my non-dominant hand, resting my injecting hand with the little finger on the patient's face to get control of the needle. Again, you can pinch for control, inject away from the eye. Well done, you're doing well. You might get a few bleeding spots and it's a good idea to have the gauze ready and just press on those. Do the same on the other side. Protect the eye, pinch the muscle, inject away from the eye. As I said before, we've put seven units, seven units, seven units, and now we're going to put 2.5 and 2.5. Protect the eye with the non-dominant hand, pinch the muscle, inject away from the eye. You're doing very well. When you're injecting, be very careful not to inject into the white mark, but rather just adjacent to it. As if you inject into the mark, you may create a tattoo. This is the last injection of the glabellar. Injecting away from the eye. Excellent. And that's the glabellar area complete. We're now going to inject frontalis. As you can see on the glabellar, there's some mild erythema and there's a very few bleeding spots. This is completely normal. And you'll note that when I did the injections, a small bleb was raised. Again, that's what you would expect when you're injecting this product. With frontalis, the muscle's much thinner than in this area, so you will see more of a bleb coming up and you don't need to insert the needle as far in as you would in procerus. There isn't any pinching involved in frontalis either. So we'll go ahead and start again protecting the eye, resting the injecting hand, little finger on the face to stabilize the needle. As you can see, a bleb has been raised there and that's completely normal. Do the same thing on the other markings. Excellent. Well done. Nearly finished. 
We've got two more to go, which are the ones very close to the hairline, which are just two units each. Okay, a few deep breaths. We're now going to inject the periorbital region. As you can see, I'm injecting the patient's left side from her right side, so I sit opposite her so as to point the needle away from the eye and have my non-dominant hand protecting the eye as I inject. Okay, so I'm just starting off with this middle injection here. Well done. A few deep breaths. And just one unit just here at the tip of the eyebrow to lift that up a bit. All done. And that's the periorbital region completed.